The BioWave uses similar technology, but takes advantage of ocean swell waves. It is a bottom-mounted pitching device connected to the ocean floor in approximately 40 to 45 meters of water. How does it work? The BioWave is mounted on the sea floor with a pivot near the bottom. The array of buoyant floats interact with the rising and falling sea surface and the subsurface back and forth water movement. As a result, the pivoting structure sways back and forth in tune with the waves, and the energy contained in this motion is converted to electricity by the onboard O-Drive. Power is then delivered to shore by a subsea cable. Edinburgh-based Aquamarine Power develops wave power technology to capture energy found near shore waves and converts it into clean, sustainable electricity. The Oyster Wave Power device is a buoyant hinged flap which is attached to the seabed at around 10 meters depth and half a kilometer from shore. This hinged flap, which is almost entirely underwater, sways backward and forward in the waves. The movement of the flap drives two hydraulic pistons which push high pressure water on shore to drive a conventional hydroelectric turbine. In essence, the Oyster Wave power device is a large pump which provides the power source for a conventional onshore hydroelectric power plant. All of the complex electronics are onshore and there are only seven moving parts offshore a hinge, two hydraulic pumps that pump the high-pressure water to the shoreline, and four valves. In the future, subsea pipelines will connect multiple oyster wave energy devices to a single onshore plant. Ultimately, oyster will be installed in wave farms of several hundred connected devices generating hundreds of megawatts of electricity. The first full-scale 315-kilowatt oyster was officially launched in November 2009 off the coast of Scotland when it began producing power to the national grid for the first time. Aquamarine Power is developing the next generation 2.4-megawatt Oyster 2 and is scheduled to commence deployment soon.